Welcome to A Moment at the Museum with the Milwaukee County Historical Society, where we bring our 2020 feature exhibit revealed Milwaukee's unseen treasures to you wherever you are. With a segregated African-American community on Milwaukee's north side, the city played a pivotal role in the struggle for civil rights in the 1960s around the issue of fair housing laws. As conditions in black neighborhoods were rapidly deteriorating in the 1960s, Alderwoman Vell Phillips, who was the first black city council member, started introducing fair housing legislation in 1962, only to be voted down four times. In August of 1967, the NAACP Youth Council, advised by a white Roman Catholic priest named James Grappi, marched from Milwaukee's north side to the largely white south side, symbolically crossing the 16th Street Viaduct, a bridge known as Milwaukee's Mason-Dixon Line. The NAACP marchers encountered a hostile crowd on the south side of the bridge that screamed insults and threw rocks, eggs, and bottles. Undeterred, the Youth Council marched again the next night and encountered an even larger crowd that continued to throw objects and hold racist signs. Despite this opposition, advocates for open housing continued marching for 200 consecutive nights through March of 1968. Following the federal government's passage of open housing laws on April 4, 1968, the Milwaukee Common Council finally passed their own open housing ordinance. A sweatshirt worn by one of the NAACP marchers is displayed proudly in our exhibit. Stay tuned for another moment at the museum with the Milwaukee County Historical Society.